What is going on guys? Today we are talking about one of the most powerful tools in photography and that is a helicopter. No, I'm just joking. Obviously this is titled mobile photography. That tool is a phone and taking photos with your phone. And I'm also with my friends Becky and Chris who actually own this helicopter. More on that information later, but they're also amazing photographers. They're gonna be sharing some tips. So we're just gonna have a fun day where it's a bit more of like a vlog tutorial kind of situation, but you're gonna walk away learning some stuff and also seeing some footage of a helicopter. I'll be, all right, let's do it. Okay, so we just finished our helicopter ride. That was amazing, I got some incredible photos. But the first thing I did before I went out and took photos while I was up in the sky is that I cleaned my camera at the back. These things live in our pockets, they have oils from our fingers all over them, so grab a microfiber cloth or grab your t-shirt, clean the lens and your photos will look that much better. I also like how I snapped and made a click sound. <laughs> uh, yeah, so tip number one, clean your lens. What's up guys, I'm Becky. I'm one half of the YouTube channel, Becky and Chris. The next tip is exposure. You wanna make sure that if you're shooting on your phone, your shots are properly exposed so that your highlights aren't too bright and your shadows aren't too dark. So make sure you lock your exposure, tap on your screen and use the slider to make sure that your shot looks really good. Yeah, that was dope. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> 18 takes later. <laughs> it's so tough. Like I always find that like the first take is like really good and the last take is really good and everything in between is just like, what happened there? <laughs> I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. that's not what I meant to say at all. <laughs> no, you did so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it just started snowing. Like how nice is this? This is really beautiful. So my next tip is to use camera apps that allow you to shoot raw. My personal favorite and the one that I use is the Lightroom Mobile CC app. Now a lot of people are probably thinking like, well Lightroom CC, isn't that just an editing app? Well actually, on your phone, the mobile version of Lightroom allows you to also take photos too and allows you to take raw photos. Now if you're a photographer, you know what this means, but if you're new to this, a raw photo essentially gives you more flexibility in post. There's more information there to really make your images pop. So I would recommend taking a photo with a raw camera app. If you guys wanna download the Lightroom Mobile CC app, I'll put a little link in the description. It's also free, which is just dope. Okay, so midway through our flight, uh, this big storm just kind of developed and we had to touch ground at a different airport. So right now, we're kind of stranded at an airport for the next few hours, hoping for this like weather to pass. The rest of the tutorial will happen at this random airport in the middle of New York State. <laughs> All right, let's jump into our next point. Okay, so the next tip is to use a bunch of different angles. I almost like fell there trying to even use different angles by putting the camera low. So it kind of flows into our next tip. This is the most boring angle in the world to shoot from. So bring your camera down low, bring it high, get on a ladder, try a bunch of different angles, get creative with your photography because that's how you actually create good images. Don't just do boring shots from your chest level while standing up. That's the most common angle, it's boring. Get creative, that's what photography is all about. We're at this random airfield and I was just doing that point and this guy like came over and he's just walking by with a shovel. He's probably like, why is he talking about camera tutorials right now? Like this doesn't make sense. We're at an airport in New York State. Stuff we'll do for these vlogs, guys. Hey, I'm Chris, the other half of the channel, Becky and Chris. And today we're gonna talk lighting. We're gonna talk about, first of all, window light. It's free, it's soft, it's flattering, and it's readily accessible. So we need to talk about positioning first of all. So a lot of times people will be back onto windows like this. <laughs> and then everything's blown out, everything's all white, it's, it's, it's no good and I'm shadowed out or it's all like overexposed in the background but if you slowly rotate this way, you can see 90 degree light source, very dramatic, keep rotating. And as the light source approaches the axes of the lens, you get a more soft, flattering look. So just changing the angle in which the window's facing you will dramatically change how your photos look. So that's. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another way to bring your mobile photography to the next level is to invent invent. You gotta invent some lenses. Just, okay, so obviously I meant invest, not invent. Invest. Invest in some good glass. You can go on Amazon, pick up one of those clip-on lenses for like $10, $15. You can spend a little bit more money on something like a moment lens. You know, they offer fisheye, telephoto, and you can basically have an entire kit of lenses in your pocket for your phone. 
Okay, so we are back home in Toronto now. Uh, getting back from Buffalo was kind of complicated because of the storm. We had to land in like Rochester and then we had to be back in Toronto for a specific time. So we had to take like an Uber back to Buffalo and then get back to Toronto. So it was a couple of hours, but now we are back in Toronto. Now I just want to talk about another little tip. This isn't so much about making your photos pop, but it's kind of just like a cool perspective specifically on cell phone cameras. Now I think the smaller the camera, the better the camera is. Now here's the theory in terms of what I mean by that. I think when you take out a cell phone camera, people are less intimidated by the camera, so you're more likely to get a better photo or a more genuine photo. You can also bring a cell phone camera into places that you really can't bring a big DSLR camera, so you actually get more unique photos, so you get more genuine and more unique photos. So use that perspective and mentality when you're going out and shooting photos. This is just a little fun tip, my philosophy per se on cell phone cameras. Also, I'm gonna take this sweater off. It's, we're sitting inside, it's way too warm. All right, much better, less toasty. And our last tip is editing your photos to make them pop using editing apps on your phone. Now my personal recommendation is the Lightroom Mobile CC app. I've been a big fan of Lightroom for a long time. I use it to edit all my DSLR photos on my desktop. Also, the desktop versions of Lightroom CC also talk to Lightroom Mobile CC, which is super dope. So if you guys have presets on your desktop, they sync with your mobile version. So now you got your presets in your pocket. Presets in your pocket. I like that alliteration. You have all the same features that you would have on your desktop version, basically on your phone. So if you wanna add like gradients to the sky and do like little exposure checks or do curves, P.S. little pro tip, if you guys want your photos to really pop, do something called an S curve where you pull the shadows down and then just go over to the highlights and you bring them up. And that generally will make your photos pop just that much more and make them look really good. I also find that it's very intuitive, like using your fingers to edit a photo versus using like a keyboard and mouse just feels a little bit more natural. So I really like that element. So just have fun, get creative with your editing and then export your photo, post an Instagram and just wait for all the likes to just shower you because you got dope photos now. So yes, that is the end of our tutorial. A big thank you to Becky and Chris for sharing their knowledge and also sharing their helicopter because who has a helicopter? That's super dope. If you guys wanna follow Becky and Chris, they are amazing, links are below. If you like this channel, more or less, you're gonna like their channel too. So would highly recommend, go follow them below. And on that note, if you guys like this video, please press like, it actually makes a difference. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe, would love for you to join along and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody, thank you so much for watching.